Hello everyone, I hope you're all doing very well. Today we're in the FA18C Hornet, it's April 2021 and we've got two new radar modes. The first is an ACM radar mode, it's actually an extension of an existing ACM radar mode we've already got called WACQ Wide Auto Acquisition Mode. The other is Spot or Spotlight Mode. So, first of all, let's look at the WAC Wide Area Acquisition Mode. You remember from our previous ACM radar mode tutorial we first need to get into air to air whether we've got a weapon or not I'm just going to unpause so I'm going to start moving around next we're going to get into our ACM mode we do that with sensor control switch forward it's going to default in this case because I've got my helmet mounted display turned on to helmet acquisition mode now to go from that into the whack we're going to do SCS left and let's have a little closer look at that. The scan zone is now in the shape of a letterbox. That's an absolute 60 degrees from left to right, so 30 degrees left, 30 degrees right. A total elevation of 15 degrees with six bars out to a maximum detectable range of 10 nautical miles with a medium PRF. It is centered around our aircraft's bore site here and in terms of rotation, centered to the horizon, if you see. Now, all we've got to do is to... Oh, it's already picked someone up. Let's see who it picks up. Someone over there. So that guy got within our letterbox of 30 degrees right and 15 degrees up and down, and it picked him up. Note, there can be a little bit of lag when using this because the radar takes a while to scan within that letterbox area. And of course, once we achieve the radar lock, we've got the normal launch and steer symbology here. Now, that's nothing new. That's how it always was. Here's the new bit. I'm going to unpause. I'm going to unlock with uh, nose wheel steering to undesignate the target. There we go. I'm going to get back in ACM mode with SCS forward. And I'm going to press SCS left again to get whack up. That was what we call caged mode in that it was caged to the ball sight or the front of the aircraft. Now we're going to press TDC depress to uncage it. Note a big cross shown over the letterbox symbology. What we can do now using the TDC up, down, left and right slew keys is to move the letterbox anywhere within the total limits of the radar. So we can move that 60 by 15 degrees anywhere within the whatever it is for this aircraft, 140 wide and about 60 or 70 up and down I should imagine. That's going to give us some extra scope for instance if the hostile is way out to the left but we don't actually want to turn our aircraft to the left or up or down. So let's go and try and get a guy now. Let's see how easily we can pick someone up. Just got to find someone. There's a guy, I don't know if you can see him on the, on the stream but he's on my crosshair here. I'm going to slew my letterbox all the way to the left like I've done there. I'm going to see if we can pick that guy up at a very high off bore sight azimuth. There, we got him. Right there. Okay, so he's all the way out there, which is 65 degrees, as you can see, off bore sight with the uncaged whack mode. Once we've acquired the launch and steer, we get the launch and steer symbology, go and fire your missiles, and so on. So that is the completed state of the whack ACM mode, caged and uncaged. Now, let's go look at Spotlight. So with Spotlight mode, we're no longer in ACM mode. We're going to go to air to air mode. It doesn't matter whether we've got weapons or not. Our situation is 30 miles on the nose. We've got two bandits heading towards us, slightly biased to the left. Now, when we're doing a wide azimuth scan like this, note that the refresh rate is very low. The B-sweep here is going very slowly left to right. Now, in this case, it's OK because those targets are relatively easy to see. But what if, and this happens all the time in reality if you're used to multiplayer servers or just any general combat what if those targets there are not perfectly visible by the radar and this refresh rate of the radar is simply not enough to keep them painted and they disappear now the easiest way for me to simulate that is to just cheat and to go down to a very narrow scan here so it can't pick them up anymore speed up till they disappear they're, they've disappeared i'm going to pretend that i'm in say 140 degree scan and I just can't keep those targets painted on the screen. This is where we're going to use Spot. Spot allows the radar to focus all of its searching energy within a 22 degree azimuth fan anywhere within the limits of the radar. So we know the targets were roughly about that azimuth there. So what we're going to do is ensure that TDC is assigned to this screen and is, you can see, because of the diamond there. We're then going to move our TDC cursor roughly to where the bad guys were, it doesn't need to be perfect. 
press and hold TDC depress for more than a second and release and you'll see a cross has appeared and it says spot down the bottom we're now highlighting a spotlighted area which is an azimuth of 22 degrees left and right at a very high refresh rate and we can see we've picked them back up moving back over there and they will after a few seconds disappear again moving back here they reappear reappeared again and that is because we've got that very high refresh rate we can keep them painted I can now go and get that guy TDC depress I can get him as launch and steer and fire my weapon so that's the use of that quite hard to simulate for a tutorial but any experienced uh, air to air fighter will know that's something that happens quite a lot in real combat that's all we've got to show I hope that's useful and see you later